After taking that loss to the Hoover, it was time to apply pressure. These fools done stole from the wrong one. They must think that we soft or something. That's time to go lay down the classic and show them what happens when you play with us. And it's our city. Let's ride, y'all. Hey, we was finna get on anything we saw wearing orange on the south side. Took a four way out each one and it's jumping back. 500 grams on a whole pack. Them boys was out there low. On the road, about to run it back. Bring that's another. Asian out Kelly about to send a ton of. We kept catching the slip. Fourth quarter pressure. Five ton jack. With the metal box. Red one of the ground. Fourth quarter I'm getting them whole, I'm getting the load, they come off a plane, they come off a will pull up in the load, bag it back into the zone, paint you hit like a phone, text misses, I said a little wrong, text up, your nigga be gone, he ain't on a connect that I'm strong, I send a hit and the pressure be on, riding the business, mind your business, I'm the business, we in the business. Now the last spot we pulled up on gang was a little too heavily guarded. Laying down a couple of them fools, it was time to retreat. We did our damage. That's what I'm talking about. Them niggas gonna know what's cracking now. So two hours later. Look, Gritty got a couple of his boys together. And they was looking to get back. Everybody in the city know it's a certain plaza the homies like to hang out in the hood. And that was their first target. After that, them boys slid through the Black Hour projects and park and hopped out on the foot. I can't even lie, y'all. Yeah, this little nigga was a problem. Now, we had South Central turned up the whole night sliding back and forth. If you wasn't in it, you better stay in the house. So three days later, 
I'm at my stash spot, chilling, counting money, blowing the L, and getting this new shipment together. Besides the bullshit, it was business as usual. So the boy Jimmy pop up on me with the bread he owe me. That's your money on me. I'm sorry about our little misunderstanding we had. Aye, it's all good, homie. You got me my pipe. That's the only thing that matters. I ain't want to have to hurt you, dog. I'm a man of my word, Holmes. With this out the way, maybe we can do business again in the future. I'll think about it, cuz. So after that, I'm sitting in my bands chilling. When I get a text from the homie Poppy from Brooklyn, he like call me ASAP. So I tell him, alright. And call him from the car. So what's good, cuz? Everything straight? Oh yeah? Bet. Say no more, homie. I'm finna send you the low right now. Now what he said was Yo aunt, what's going on? Your boy just touched down at LAX And these people done offered your boy a record deal It's finna get real crazy homie Where you at? Yeah, drop that low I'm finna pull up on you in about an hour or two And I got some bread for you cuz Man this shit finna be a movie While I'm out here Tell all the real ones and all the baddies pop off for your low homie. Yup. So right after that, my little cousin G Stone pull up on me. What's cracking, little cuz? Everything good? You caught up with them clowns from the hood that hit that lick on you? Come on now, cuz. You already know. Belt the ass on them fools. But it get deeper. You ain't gonna believe this shit. You gonna have to fill me in later. But my homie Poppy from New York will be rapping. He just touched down the city and he said he finna pull up on me like an hour or two, cuz. Oh, yeah? I fucks with cuz music. That nigga hard on drill way. I ain't know you was your peoples. Let me hang with y'all. I got you, cuz. So about an hour later, we out there kicking it with a couple of my soldiers, you feel me? When a black and blue Maybach G-Wagon pull up, I'm thinking, oh yeah, this gotta be cuz. You went. What's cracking, homie? I see you still getting to it. I like that 63 bands you got right there. And I like that thing you driving right there. But hey, that's my little cousin G-Stone. He down with the team. What's cracking, my nigga? Yeah, I mess with your music tough. So what's the deal, homie? You signed to a label now? Yeah, homie. I'm signed to Interscope now. The big homie 50 talked to Jimmy and Dre, and he hooked it up. Your fools can come hop in with me. Let's ride up. All right, cuz. It's a bet. I can show you a couple of different spots around the city. Hell yeah, lo. And I ain't trying to miss out on this little adventure. And let's go. Hey, right, it's time for you to see that Cali love Pac was talking about, cuz. And that's why you my nigga. Matter of fact, you want to draw the truck on me? No, do your thing, lo. After that game, we ride out with Cuz. I can't lie, that G-Wagon was nice inside and out. But Cuz tell us he got a studio session that we gotta get through. So we pull up to the studio, you feel me? Man, they got security everywhere around that thing. I'm thinking, oh yeah, it's definitely some important people up in this thing.
I'm talking about foreigners all in the parking lot or a lot. So we hop out and walk in that thing. We get in there, baby, like, hi, who are you here for? I'm gonna see Curtis Jackson. He should be expecting me. Okay, sir, upstairs. Man, we get up there. They got Uncle Snoop 50 in that thing. Jimmy Iveen, DJ Poole, Scott Storch, Dr. Dre, and the baby in the booth, cuz. It was real turn. Yo, what's up, big homie? You remember the homie and I brought around before? Hey, what's up, Fifth? Everything been good with you, cuz? It's nice to see you again. Poppy, how's it going? We're happy to be adding you to our family, man. 50 says a lot of good things about you. Man, I'm just glad to be here, Jimmy. I appreciate you and the big homie for taking a chance with your boy. Damn, y'all got this spot cracking. Hey, right, look at my little cousin G-Stone, man. Dude's so funny. He think he a player or something, man. I'm ready to hop in the booth. Let's get it. That's what I like to hear. All right, Poppy. Let's see what you got, son. I'm finna set that thing on fire. You all ain't back on me. Watch your boy work. Man, y'all. Him and the baby got on that thing and was going crazy. I knew this was finna be a hit. While they in there doing their thing, y'all. Your boy see something nice. Then DJ Pooh walk up on me and ask me if I do music. Because I definitely look the part. No, homie. But after seeing this, I would definitely start a record label. He tell me, if you need help once you start your label, let me know. I got you. I appreciate that, big homie. You a real one. I'll definitely reach out if I need help set anything up with it. And then I pimp up on baby. Damn, you definitely dragging a wagon. You need to come holler at your boy. I can change your life. She like, thank you, baby. And then we get to kicking it for a second. And they in there spazzing. And Dr. Dre in his zone on the boards. Now, if I was going to do this rap thing, y'all, I already knew who my first artist was going to be. See, look, cuz I have the image and the street cred to back it up. It wouldn't be hard to push him out to the world. Being in here with all these famous people did something to your boy mentally. So after that, we leave the store. Man, cuz, that was crazy. Appreciate you for bringing me and little cuz along on that. Hell yeah, cuz. I definitely appreciate that. Y'all had all them things in there. I think baby girl was feeling me. Hey, it's all good, homie. You're all my peoples. But now that that's over, let's go hit up one of these strip clubs around here. So I tell cuz to pull up to the Vanilla Unicorn. When we pull up, y'all, somebody out there in a yellow track hawk on 40s. I'm like, damn, who is that? Shall so we pull up, hop out, and walk in that thing? Have a good time. When we walk in there, y'all, the strippers in there going crazy. But I peep Chief Keith and one of his homies in there kicking it. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Let me go over here and introduce myself to Cub. Especially if I'm thinking about the music industry in the future. Hey, Sosa, what's cracking, homie? I'm Tiny Ann from 60 Crip. I'm a real big fan of your music, homie. You know, he tell me, appreciate that game. Let's get a picture real quick. His homie like, I'll take the picture. Y'all do y'all thing. 
Man, I couldn't believe it, y'all. We was in the strip club with Sosa. Y'all, we was them niggas, and could nobody dispute that. After that, y'all, we all in there, cool, and Sosa was a cool nigga. He was like one of us, for real, for real. Man, homie, this cool, but it's time to make it rain in this thing. I got like 10 bands to throw. Hell yeah, cuz I got like 3 to throw on. And I got like 20 to blow. And let's show these things how we get down. Man, y'all, we started throwing hundreds in there. We had to flow cover. All the strippers on us. Look at G-Stone. He done fell in love with a stripper like T-Pain. Cause funny. And this was a good day, y'all. I don't think it could get no better. So after about an hour, we leave about that thing. But Sosa told us it's a party at Club Galaxy in Hollywood later. Pull up. Funny thing, 50 and them had told Poppy about it too. So we hop back in the whip with good. Hey, homie, your city lit, man. Let's go to your hood. I want to see the trenches. It's only right. We can go, cuz. But there's a lot going on. We want with a couple different gangs right now. And cuz I ain't care. I couldn't even talk him out of it, y'all. He wanted to go. So we out there in the hood cooling it. And ain't too much going on that first game. Kind of dead for real. Eventually, some of the homies pop out on us. Niggas out there smoking and drinking that liquor, you feel me? And that you do know. Dick then I happen to get a funny feeling like turn around. And when I do, it's one of the Hoovers about to kill my cousin G Stone, yo. So I let him have it. Man, I couldn't believe this shit. Look, Greedy done resorted to assassination attempts. Man, cuz, what the hell was that? Man, one of them Hoover niggas was trying to kill you. And it's hot out here now, cuz. We gotta get the fuck on before one time show. Let's dip then, homie. You said it was dangerous. I should have listened. But you helped me with my problems, so now nah, you know I got you with yours. Man, you good, cuz. Let's go pull up on my cousin Frank. His spot should be safe for us. Man, cuz, I appreciate you for saving me. So we getting the whip, you know what I'm saying? And get to talking about how crazy that was and how we all could have died. And I was still in shock, y'all. If anything would have happened to my nigga Poppy, on my cousin G Stone, and I would have went and killed everybody over there, set the city on fire. Shall we pull up to my cousin Frank Mansion?
Aight cuz, this the homie Poppy from Brooklyn who we put down with the team. Yo big homie, it's an honor to meet you man, appreciate the opportunity and tell me a lot of good things about you. Aight, it's a pleasure to meet you homie, you definitely a good earner for our organization. Hey, this cool and everything, but we really came to see you cuz we almost got rocked to sleep on a block. Hold on, rocked to sleep? Who was trying to kill y'all niggas? Ain't this got anything to do with look greedy in the Hoover's cuz? Yeah, cuz, but fuck them clowns. There's a party at Club Galaxy. You trying to come? Yeah, big homie, it's gonna be real lit. Follow us, man. After that, y'all, we trailed up to the club. And when we pull up there, y'all, it looked like it's doing a little something. Let's turn up, gang. That shit from earlier was still on my mind, but I was gonna try to have a good time, y'all. Totally and we get up in that thing, y'all. It's packed out. Man, they going crazy up in there. Yeah. Seeing all that kind of lighting your boy move. Man, look at Cuz, man. Frank funny than a mug, man. He up in there hitting it. <laughs> so after that, y'all, we going to back to the VIP section. That's where the real party was at. I can't take a day off. I know the next nigga won't. Either it's coming in or that shit getting sold. Fucking with the scams. Ain't no back to being broke. Niggas probably got as much as they need. Nigga, I don't. East side nigga with them plugs in the south. Fuck a bitch good. Put some drugs. Man, when I see all that that's going on back there, I'm like, oh yeah. That's where I need to be. I'm leaving up out of here with like one or two of them. Once we get off in there, y'all know I pimp up on me one, you know, hollering at her. The homie Poppy, oh, he got in one. Let's get on this nigga, he a shit on this nigga, bought a brick on this nigga. Come rob him, you getting ten off this nigga, even if it's... My cuz G-Stone done snuck off and got in one. And Franklin got in one. And we all in there on some player shit. Hey, I'm finna head to the regular section of the bar and see what's going on, cuz. Hey, homie, you know where we at. Man, y'all, this club was super turned. Made me want my own. So I grabbed me a bottle of champagne from the bar. Man, I'm going crazy in that thing, gang. Teed up. Whole time. Man, you all the ops had just stepped in the building. I'm just sitting there, you know, chopping it up with the bartender, feeling real good. But look who it is. What's up, nigga? I ain't think I'll see you here. 
Man, hold on real quick, baby. Man, nigga, you got some nerves showing up here. You heard from your homie you sent to kill us? No, that's because the nigga in a body bag now. Just another casualty of war. I ain't tripping. You niggas tougher than I thought y'all was. But shit, fool. Where y'all back up at now? Are you out here by yourself? It's for us. Man, nigga, I'm a fucking one-man army. I make shit shake regardless. So let's get it cracking. And you clown started all this when y'all hit that lick. I'm just showing you niggas there's consequences to that shit, cuz. Man, Groove, fuck you and them consequences. We can tear this club up right now. Nigga, fuck you too. Let's do it then. Bust a move. You niggas better kill me in this bitch. After being gone for so long, I guess Poppy was like, man, let me go check on the homie. Hey, Ant. Everything good, homie? It look like these niggas over here tripping, but we can handle that. Everything hey, good, homie. These clowns ain't about nothing. They gonna get dead just like they mans. Hey, New York, you better stay out of this groove. You don't want none of these problems. Stick to that rap shit you do. And let the real street niggas talk. You a non-factor. But we can get on your head too since you playing. Hey, nigga, I'm all the way off in the field. Don't let this rap shit fool you. Hey, Frank, them niggas been gone for a minute, cuz. Maybe we should go check on them. Yeah, you right, cuz. Let's go see what's up. Ooh, baby. Man, cuz can see us arguing right across the club. You go. Hey, it's an even matchup now. What's up, nigga? Where all that big talk go? So you the little nigga I seen at the gas station the other day. If I knew who you was then, I would have killed you. Stealing from us and think y'all finna jump my cousin? And you niggas crazy. Hey, big homie, it's only business. Nothing personal. Y'all the competition. I gotta take y'all out. But we ain't gonna do it right here. I'm gonna let these people enjoy their party. It's too many witnesses. Man, cuz, you a straight hoe, but was just talking all that tough Tony shit. No, nah, Ant. We gonna let him live. We in Hollywood. You know they gonna tell. Híjole. Hey, let's go, cuz. We out of here. This little nigga trying to trick us off the streets. We getting too much money now. We'll catch up with him. Fuck him. Hey, Fifth, we about to get up out of here, big homie. Some shit just went down, but y'all more than welcome to come back to the homie Frank Mansion in the Hollywood Hills for the after party. It's gonna be real lit out there. Fifth, like, no doubt, I'll hit you up when I leave here. Now, we in that thing on tip, sure. On go mode, I'm talking about ready to go. So while we on our way out, that fool look greedy get the set trip and throwing up hovers. And so we bang right back on him. He knew what he was doing though. He wanted us to get wild in front of everybody. But we wasn't stupid. We weren't going for that. Y'all, I was so pissed, I kind of felt like the nigga hold us, but Frank was right. With the feds watching, a shootout in Hollywood was the last thing that we needed. But anyways, after that, we pulled up to Cuz Crib. A nice amount of people from the club showed up. Everybody out there vibing, chilling, you know, having a good time. I'm out of town asking niggas what they pay for cane. I'm whipping chicken 
and this bitch shit like Razor King. I'm with my bitch in the law, watching Not me though, gang. All I could think about was everything that happened this week, specifically today. Don't worry about that clown, cuz. We gonna get him. You know I never took disrespect lightly, cuz. But I can tell I grew up, cuz the old me would have shot him in the club. And I'm proud of you, cuz. We on a whole nother level now. Don't let that clown trick you out of your position. Yeah, cuz, you right. But if we don't get him out the way ASAP, he gonna be a problem. And it was time to start strategizing, gang. The day after my cousin Frank court date, I called the meeting with some of the crew. Hey, listen up. I called this meeting because with Frank locked up, I'm in charge. If any of you niggas don't like it, get the fuck on. If you still here, let's get this money. Now while cuz gone, I'm promoting Lamar and G-Stone to my underbosses. Also, Poppy is gonna be serving as my concierge while he here. If y'all need any work, these the people y'all come holla at. Now I know it's gonna be different without Frank, but we gonna get through this. Cuz will be home soon. Y'all niggas just keep faith in the process. While well, I'm giving that speech, y'all, the nigga Sock's pulling up to the meet late as hell. Niggas already starting off wrong. Well, since you missed the meeting, homeboy, I was telling everybody that this the team that's in charge while Frank locked up. My cousin G-Stone looked pissed once Brody pulled up. Is that gonna be a problem, homie? Hell yeah, that's a problem. I've been down with niggas for a long time, and y'all gonna get this young nigga and a nigga from New York a top position? That's some bullshit, homie. All of a sudden, my cousin G-Stone up blower on that fool. Hey right, nigga, you ain't think I knew you was the one that set that move up on me? I've been waiting on my chance to catch your ass. It's time to die, clown, but nobody crossed me. When I heard that shit, y'all, I was like, hold up. <laughs> nigga, you the one that tried to set up that bullshit robbery on my cousin? Man, homie, if I would have been through that, I would have blew your head off before cuz got the chance to. Hell yeah, I was just trying to teach the little nigga some respect, but y'all got me. Man, I couldn't believe this snake ass nigga had said that, y'all. Lamar was over there looking confused as hell that his best friend did this shit. He couldn't even take his lick like a man. He knocked one of the homies down and ran. Lil G, why you ain't been saying something to me about the nigga Socks? We gonna find him and end this shit. You can have that nigga whip too, Lil Cuz. Lamar like, damn Lil Cuz, I'm sorry about that. He was my best friend, but you family. I can't believe he was hanging around like shit was cool. Aunt, Mar, it's all good. I told Frank before he got locked up about this. I ain't say nothing because I knew he was going to eventually come around, and I ain't want him to know that I knew. We got to find that nigga because he know way too much. After that, I called a private meeting with my lieutenants. This all the work we got right now, gang. So until I can holler at Frank and see about setting up a meeting with the plug, we got to make this shit last. We also got 10 birds down the street that we can sell now. It's going to be a little different without Frank being here because we ain't never really seen the drought. But I got faith that each one of you niggas going to step up to the plate so we can make Cuz proud. Now that that's out the way, let's get out here and get this money. I'm going to keep my ear to the streets for the nigga socks. So after that, y'all, I'm sliding. I had to stop at the gas station and get some gas for the Benz truck.
Maybe it's enough for me to go around. Blow me down, slow it down. If you ain't know I'm really him, you know it now. Yeah, free my brother, fuck the judge. He's 40, I'm the super sonny. I keep the glove. Yeah, I talk shit just because. I ain't the same, but I'm tryna run. I need me a sugar mama like I'm Penny. I'm small talk. Hey, let me get a hundred on pump seven. Bring me, homie. I need a crown that's gonna fit me. I'm not a ball hog. Let us see my dog ball. Hey, I verse all your street punks be all talk. We hope I fall off. When I come out the gas station, yo, I see something hella nice. I'm like, hold on, let me go holla at Shorty. Damn, baby, what's your name? She tell me her name Desiree. And she just moved here from Oakland. And she going to school out here. So I tell her. Would you be in new to the city? I love to take you out, shorty, and show you all the hot spots around here, man. She tell me that sound good to her. Then she went crazy, y'all, when she seen my truck. Told me, oh my God, is this your car? Hell yeah, baby, you can check it out if you want to. So we in the whip, you know, just chit chatting, you know. That thing was nasty, y'all. Green interior, green forges, you feel me? The boy was going crazy out here. Shorty was definitely feeling him. So after that, Shorty pull out her phone and I give her my number. She tell me she gonna be in touch soon. I say, yeah, you do that, baby. At that same time over there on the south side, a meeting was about to take place to try to change the dynamics in the streets. Yeah, you guessed it. Lil Greedy was trying to do business with the triads. Because he knew they hated us. And with Frank gone, he felt like they supply was his chance to take over the city. You guys stay outside. I'll be right back. Lil Gritty was down to his last bricks and paint, so he had to act fast. Alright, you got me here for this meeting, so what do you need? Hey, Gru, first off, homie, I appreciate you for taking this meeting. You got work, and I got soldiers, and we got a common enemy. I can make you a lot of money, homie, just trust me. First off, I heard you like to rob people. That's why I was hesitant to take this meeting with you in the first place. It ain't like that, homie. I just did that to get in the game. Yo, boss, you need to come check this out, and it can't wait. It's the nigga Socks, y'all. Hey, homie, I ain't fucking with Frank and them no more. Them niggas want me dead over there. I was trying to see if I could come get money with y'all. One thing I know how to do is hustle, my nigga. How do I know I can trust you, Groove? They could have sent you over to trick me. Man, I should have my boys put a bullet in your ass right now. Hey, you do got bars for this, though. Hey, cuz, tell your people to drop the guns, and I can give you some real intel that'll benefit us both. Or you can kill me right now, and we both walk away with nothing. All right, y'all, put the guns down. All right, now check this out. And this crew got 10 bricks down the street from here at a trap spot. And you just so happen to know where it's at, huh? Exactly, homie. So let's team up. Now back to what we was talking about, homie. I'll have the money, so can I count on you to come through with your pipeline? We can take this city over together. I just need you to take a chance on me, homie. 
I'll have my people deliver the first shipment in a couple days and we can go from there. And like I told you before, we do fair business. If you try to fuck me over, I will kill you and everyone that you care about. I do not play about my money. And that's how two niggas that never should have got together did. Later on that day, y'all, them boys came to hit that lake on our spot. That nigga's socks was violating, y'all. After hearing that we got hit, y'all, later that night, we found a smoker that said he knew where the nigga socks was at. He told us he saw him in the projects on the south side with the hovers about 45 minutes ago. Lamar had to sit this one out, y'all. It was just me, G Stone, and the homie Poppy. We just gonna go take care of this ourselves. We was gonna slide through they hood and do major damage until we reach socks. All them niggas had to pay. Tell my bitch I do what I want. Let's go. Couple thousand on birds and chokers and chomps. Bitch, you got you a buzz down. Hold up, bro. Said he got a Michigan plug and he cheap on the phone. He's out of bounds. He fronts the lows and them guns. Down, walk full of damage. Car know my own. I big in the making, I strong. That's tough. Want another nigga hood with a chop with a drum? Like ooh, okay. I got money, I'm scraping. We T eight and slow, see money. Yeah, yeah. Like ooh, okay. Now my mama, she scraped. That's the only let her curve I ever had. Oh, feel for the hustle, I'm getting the grade. Two tall kid, T we ain't kids, no fun. Walk on the beat like the beat was a maze. Used to add it with perk, I was fucking. Let's go. Walk down, walk. Down, I better spray. Uh, Every nigga around me, let's go. Walk hard, lock like, like, ooh, okay. Let's go. Got an army of shooters and I got a punch. Uh, Dominican big keys stuck in my leg. Gonna put down the AP, book up, let's go. Do some tragedy, shoot it. Uh, man, I count 10 rats, hope pussy let's got go, weight. You say, I've been in the game for a year and I made this shit clear. Let's go. I've been getting money, started shit, nothing. Uh, uh, walk on the beat, uh, soft, soft, no uh, shit. That boy told him the BB gun, give him the blue. Uh, and the clue to stick, uh, it's a clue to my shoes. Let's go. 700 to walk down, go. Double O. Young nigga 16, got it for everybody. I ain't fucked up bad as Selena, no cap. I was on 17, moving narcotics. Double O, narcotics. Still moving both for a hobby. Uh, I'm still moving both for his hobby, but I just been leaving his hobby. Still slugging his hobby, but I ain't no cap. I ain't still the bullshit, cause I knew it was a mouse. Ooh, gotta hear where her purpose was sitting in. Come on, let me take any perks, they gon' fuck with that nerves. Bump my hand deep, double these perks. Look, how about one? Don't wanna jump free, bad, put something in the shirt. I ain't real too real to a face on the shirt. Uh, nigga know how that shit work. Chop hit a nigga, put a nigga in the dirt. Had a sip of money, bitch, nigga, link up on the private. She wanna fuck back the party. Oh, little fuck, she digging no grits. Don't eat this dick if you ain't, you chat. I'm a TT driver, tell me to put up. Little double up, spit a shit, let's go. Breaking out new chains in the mean, if you got it, we winning. You know we're young, let's go. We like 200 M's up at Pluto. Be with me, the whole world talks. We got my car, I'm on public. Double up, sit me, I keep my rock. Let me, 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 no need to stop, let's go. Double up, sit me, I'm still like a marsh. Ten or four bitches, nigga, I ain't about to end. Can't be so wild that I can't even park, let's go. Finna be rich, get money out. Get money, I ain't right, give me gas, but fair. Uh, you know how this shit go. Try to get a couple eggs out of four weeks go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. See, double up, sit me, I'm on like a reaper. 500 for D.O.S. sneakers, I put on some chains and go roll like the Beatles. Ah, uh, okay, well, I'm not taking this point. Smoke a hot pack up in the joint. Double up, pull up and shoot on the point. Everywhere I come, gotta keep my gun, cause I know they want me done. I let me run around with a 223 and a drink, this big ass drunk. This big ass is a drunk, it's a 5-5-6. She gon' eat double up, cause I'm hot and no reach. I'm on a 
smoke and I'm popping this shit. Mama, I know that I'm dropping this shit. Packing that coke and she thought it was shit. Scat pack, two fat, dropping that bitch. She talks to once and I'm smoking. Be careful, I think I walk all the time, got trees. Young nigga, 16, got it for her body. I ain't fucked up, bad as a little, no cap. I'm from 17, moving our car, double low, no cap. I'm moving both for a hot mouth. Young nigga, 16, got it for her body. I ain't fucked up, bad as a little, no cap. I'm from 17, moving our car, double low, no cap. I'm moving both for a hot mouth. After all that shooting, once we made it in there, y'all, them niggas wasn't even there. Man, I was so fucking pissed, y'all. It was time to retreat after that. I was thinking was one thing. If we ain't get the nigga socks off the streets fast, shit was gonna get real sticky for it. A day after visiting Frank, I get a call from him. Well, it's cracking, cuz. You got a phone quick. Listen, I still need you to set up that meeting for me. He tell me he gonna work on it, but he need me to give him some product so he can get it inside. We getting low out here, cuz. But I should be able to get something for you, but we gotta still figure out a way to get the bag inside, though. He tell me, on another note, I need you to meet with the general manager of my businesses. I'm gonna send you the low. Finally, you heard any word on Lamar? Okay, I got you on that, cuz. I know we gotta keep shit afloat out here with the legal money. He like, nigga, don't skip over that last part. You heard what I said. You better find my brother. Maybe I should have put him in charge. I ain't ignoring nothing, cuz. I got my ears to the street. Soon as I hear something, just know you will. You mad at me like I put you in there. He my cousin too. You don't think I care? Man, who the fuck you talking to? Remember who won this organization, little nigga? I put you on. Listen, cuz. I told you I'm on it. We'll talk later. After that, I had my boy Howe pull up on me to bring me my new whip. It had been on back order for a while, but finally came in. Once it got here, him and Gus hooked me up on the rims. Man, I can't even lie, Hal. This thing nasty, homie. He tell me, yeah, it came out real nice. Then he asked me how Frank's doing. Cuz doing all right, homie. I'm trying to tell him to keep his spirits up. Don't let them break him. But it's hard. He'll be home soon, though. Yeah, that's prison for you, Ant. But I'm gonna get up out of here. Enjoy your ride. Yeah, that thing was dumb, gang. 2023 Ferrari SF90 Stradale on 4 Giottos with the blue hits on the interior. And I dropped like 700K on it. I had to have it. After that, I was off to meet with Franklin Business Manager to see how we can maintain and possibly expand Clinton Enterprises. The meeting was at the Santa Monica Pier. I had never met this person before, so I didn't know what to expect. Frank just said they was gonna be in a black bin. So when I pull up, I see this female standing outside of a black Benz on her phone. I'm like, okay, that's gotta be her. Let me get out and introduce myself. She like, you must be Franklin's cousin, Anthony. I've heard a lot about you. My name is Jessica Summers. It's nice to finally make your acquaintance. We have a lot to talk about and not a lot of time because I'm a busy woman. Well, it's nice to meet you too, Jessica. I'm here to help. So whatever you need me to do, just let me know. You can think of me as Franklin when you can't get in touch with him. She tell me, well, everything else is good right now. But before Franklin got locked up, 
he was thinking about starting a trucking company. And the guy with the truck is getting antsy and wants to sell. So can I take a ride out to see the guy and the truck and tell her what I think? Yeah, I got you. That sounds easy. Just give me the guy's location and tell him I'm on my way right now. I'll call you when I leave there. And if everything looking good, then we can go from there. I could tell Shorty was smart. I would have never thought about starting a trucking company. I see why Frank hired her. That would be a great way to smuggle the work cross country once we got plugged back in with the cartel. I had to drive all the way out to the country to see this truck gang. When I pulled up, it was a dude outside smoking a cigarette. I was guessing that was the owner. I ain't gonna lie. It was a nice semi gang. I was gonna call her Big Blue. What's going on, homie? I take it you the man I need to holler at about this rig. It looked decent enough, so talk to me. How much you trying to get for it? And don't say no crazy numbers for real. He say this butte right here only has 10,000 miles on it. And it's a 2023, so I'd say give me 200,000 for it and it's yours. I really don't want to sell it, but I got to pay off my gambling debts. 200000 huh? I can't do that. I'll give you 180 though, and you seem desperate. So I'd take that if I was you. Fine, 180 it is. Just like that, your boy was in the trucking game. Y'all remember Shorty from the last episode, right? Desiree? Well, after making it back from the country, I pulled up on her. We had been kicking it for a few weeks. And even though we ain't know everything about each other yet, I felt a real connection with her. It surprised me. She was staying in the hood this whole time. Look at my baby, y'all. Coming out here looking fine as hell. She had been a light through these hard times, so I just wanted to pick her up and show her how much I appreciated her. So the first thing I did was take her downtown to the Beverly Center so she could shop till she dropped. I dropped the light 10 in there on baby. That was nothing to me. Y'all should have seen the smile on her face. Next, I took her to Beverly Hills. I had a real nice surprise for her. I had told her I had to go pick up my new chain from Vangelico's. whole time, I had dropped 30 racks on her a chain so she could match my fly. Later on that night, I took baby to Whiskey at Go-Go's, where I ordered us a booth and some bottles. We and that thing turned up, y'all, having a good time. I can't even lie, I was falling for baby. I had never felt this way before. About four hours in, 
Man, we was both lit up, gang. So at a certain point, we made our way up out the building. Now this was my first time bringing baby to the spot. I ain't letting a lot of people know where I stayed at because I ain't trusting nobody for real. Soon as we got in there, gang, she was all on me. So y'all know what happened next. After we got done, we just on the couch chilling, watching TV, talking, booed up, you feel me? So you never told me what you was going to school for, babe. And we been kicking it for a couple of weeks now. Don't you think that's important? You ain't even asked me what I do for a living. I'm just trying to learn more about you because I really like you and can see you in my future. She like, yeah, you right, babe. We just been having so much fun. It slipped my mind. But I would love to have you in my future, too. And I'm going to school for criminal justice. And I just started working at Bowling Bro. So I tell her, is that right? I got a cousin in there. Maybe you could take him something for me. She tell me, okay, I can. But listen, I could lose my job and get in trouble. Just promise to take care of me if things go south. How you got me feeling right now? I'll do anything for you, man. So a week later, we set the plan in motion, gang. I gave Shorty a half a bird to hide in there for cuz. She like, Clinton, you need to come with me. You have a dentist appointment today. Aunt sent me. It's a brown paper bag in the locker room with what you need. So the nigga came through, huh? Good looking on that thing, little cuz. I tell him, don't even mention it. Now find my brother, nigga. So a day later, I go pick Shorty up from school. She told me her engine had went on on her car, but she had came through for me. I was a step closer to the plug now, so I had a surprise for her. She like, hey babe, thanks for coming to pick me up. Then she get to going in about her car. Don't even worry about it, babe. That type of stuff happens. I told you I was gonna make sure you straight. We'll get you a new car. Now let me take you home. She like, you know what? You right, babe. I'll be all right. Let's go. Now 
Baby, I ain't even know what was waiting for you. When we got close to her crib, I told her, all right, babe, close your eyes. I got a surprise for you. I grabbed baby that new G Wagon on 40. I had it, so I ain't even care. She started cheering for me. I did good, huh? She like, eh, I don't know what to say. We've only known each other for like a month, and you continue to spoil me with all these gifts. Let me stop before I cry. I love you, Anthony Clinton. Man, baby, it's nothing. I'm a real nigga having my way. That's what we do. But I got your Malibu fixed, too. Because you definitely can't drive that thing to your job. She like, I know, babe. I'm just not used to this. I've never had a man like you. Baby, you putting your life and livelihood on the line for me. I'd be a damn fool not to take care of you. You don't even know how much you mean to me, shorty. I go hop in that G-Wagon and tell me what you think about it. She like, oh yeah, they gonna hate me when they see me in these streets. Matter of fact, let me call all my girlfriends and tell them what my man did. My baby was happy as hell, y'all. And I was happy to see it. That's what we was out here getting money for. When I get a call from an unknown number. What's up, little nigga? Man, nigga, what the fuck you want? We got your peoples. We finally figured out we want a million cash. You got two days or he dead. Man, if any of you niggas heard a hair on my cousin head, I'ma rain down death on everybody on that side. Think I'm playing if you want, bitch ass nigga. That was your day one and you do some snake ass shit like this? Boy, I can't wait to catch your ass. While that day one shit went out the window once Frank got locked up and put you in charge. Now, do you want him or not? Man, that nigga must think we playing, bro. Matter of fact, watch this. I'm finna make this nigga scream. We want our money, little boy. All I could hear was cuz getting beat in the background, you all. Alright, is that enough convincing little nigga or what? You know what, bro? Maybe we should just kill this nigga right now and save ourselves the trouble. We already boiling. That's just another free million. Time's ticking, eh? Make a choice now, little nigga. Alright man, listen, chill. I'ma get that money for y'all. Just had a drop for the bread and my cousin location ready. And I pray to God for your sake, my cousin ain't beat too badly. Just get the money and we'll be in touch. For sure, you got it. Babe, I gotta go right now. A family emergency came up. We'll talk later. My good day turned into a nightmare at this point, gang. And I couldn't believe this shit. So two days later, I'm at the crib. I got the money collected. I'm sitting there, impatiently waiting on a response from me. And I got G-Stone poppy with me for backup in case shit get crazy when I finally get a text message at a location to leave the money at so we all hop in my lounge truck and make our way there the drop is in a park in the triad territory After that, I text them, 
it's here. And I wear my cuz. They text me back and say, your boy at the docks waiting for you. After that, it seemed like everything was going to be alright. The family was going to be whole again for the most part. Or so I thought. But when we pull up out there to the dock shore, my cousin Lamar out there dead. He had been shot at least 30 times. I couldn't believe this. None of us could. I'm sorry, cuz. I did all I could. But I let you and Frank down. First unk, and now you. But I promise we gonna avenge you, my nigga. I ain't gonna rest till all them niggas dead. They think they can play with us? Call a meeting and get all the troops together. Later that day, a meeting was called. Listen up, niggas. It's time to go through the south side and set that bitch on fire. Greedy, socks, and any nigga we catch out there wearing orange all gotta die. Them niggas killed Lamar. That's my family, but we all a family. So we gotta show them niggas what happened when you play with this family. And I'm counting on each and every one of you niggas and your crews to apply pressure to these niggas. We ball together and we gonna fall together if need be. Now I love Lamar just like everybody do, but it's gonna be hard to convince my niggas to go to war with the work drying up. Then what we is getting, we getting taxed for. I couldn't believe this nigga, y'all. Now, Ant, maybe if you could drop the price to 32 a joint, I might be able to convince my soldiers to see shit your way. Otherwise, homie, we gonna have to walk. I still got to do what's best for my soldiers. I hope you can understand that, homie. I can't do that right now, homie. Lowest I can go is 36. But it ain't gonna always be like this. Frank about to hook me up with the plug soon. And the price will go back to what it was. But I need you and your soldiers, homie. Don't do your loke like that. This for Mark. Then I guess we walking, eh? Can't make hungry soldiers fight. Come on, y'all. We out of here. I really was in disbelief, y'all. You see how certain niggas turn fake when shit get real. Fuck them niggas. We ain't need them anyways. Now everybody that's still here, I know for a fact y'all love Lamar. So get your crews ready. We riding on them niggas starting the night. We gonna turn that bitch into a ghost town over there. Let's get it. It really was tight, gang. I was down to my last 40 bricks. With hella miles to feed. I ain't know what I was finna do, but some had to shake. It's time to ride, niggas. Let's go show these bitch-ass niggas what happened when you play with family. This for Lamar.
with all them shots letting off and them niggas not running out, I knew they wasn't out there. But they wish was, so I got a brilliant idea. I ain't gonna lie, gang. It was shots coming from everywhere. So after doing what we did, it was time to retreat. Them boys kept coming. big statement with this. I know them niggas was pissed when they seen they cars. Them niggas done took it too far this time, bro. We ain't letting this shit slide. On my mama, we gotta find another way to hurt them, just like they bitch ass cousin. Other than that, I want all three of them niggas heads on the plate. Any idea, socks? Yeah, Greedy. I think I might know of another way. Just leave it to me, homie. I promise you them bitch ass niggas gonna pay for this shit. This our city. This move I pull gonna hurt they asses way worse than Lamar. And they pulled the unthinkable earlier that next morning, gang. Once G-Stone heard all them shots, Cuz woke up and came outside busting at they ass. Luckily, Cuz wasn't at home when that shit happened. After that, G-Stone texted me about what happened and said, yeah, it's on, cuz. From that point, y'all, we was hitting these niggas broad day, nighttime, it ain't matter, and we ain't care who seen us. They knew they had to be on that same time too. The nigga looked greedy was bold, y'all. This nigga hopped out in the hood in an all orange Nike tech to slide. I had stopped smoking cigarettes, but this shit had me so stressed, I needed one. This war was gonna be tough, gang, but I was ready for whatever came with it. So it was finally time for Lamar's funeral. 
I ain't gonna lie, gang. I was going through it. This was the last time I was gonna see cuz. I was just glad my baby was there to support me through all this. Cuz funeral was more packed than I thought it would be. It was nice to see everybody there showing him love for one more time. After the service, we all went out to the graveyard to bury him. I hadn't got a chance to holler at Frank's son and his baby mama since all this was going on, but this was the perfect time. What's up, Keisha? You and Deuce fine? You all need anything? She like, yeah, we straight. Right now, I'll let you know if we need anything. You talk to Frank, though? Me and cuz ain't really seeing eye to eye right now. He blamed me for this shit with Lamar. But regardless, this is C and my little cousin. So no matter what, you all straight. Hit me up if you all need anything. Hey, Deuce, if you ever need anything, like I told your mom, don't hesitate to reach out. I know I'm not your pops, but we all we got, cuz. I'll raise you if I got to. Later that night, I was on a mission, gang. I found out where one of that full greedy trap spots was at. And I was finna go hit it up to recover what they ran off with. I know that fool Grady was pissed when he found out we hit his spot. We gon' get all the motherfuckers back for this, bro. That whip I took had two boxes in it. One of them had a million dollars cash in it. The other one had 16 bricks in it. This was gonna keep me afloat a little bit longer, gang. Well, apparently an innocent person got killed in our shootout. And the mayor was not happy about that. He called the press conference the next day and announced that the LAPD and the FBI had launched a joint task force to fight organized crime in the city. This was going to make things way more complicated, gang. Detective Chip Daniels and Curtis Williams. One of them was a straight-edge by-the-book cop. he caught you with anything, you was going to jail for it. Now his partner on the other hand, was dirty as hell. He would hop out on you and pistol whip you and rob you. If you was from the streets and you was outside getting money and not paying him, that was your ass. He did one of the homies so dirty before. Don't move, nigga, or I'ma put a bullet in your ass. Back up and empty your pockets. Think you can be out here on my streets hustling and not pay me my cut? Boy, you got life fucked up. I should put a bullet in your ass right now for dodging me. The homie telling, look, man, you caught me. Just take me to jail. This some petty shit. I'll be right back out on the streets tomorrow. Is that right, little nigga? Come with me. We finna take a ride. His dirty ass dropped the homie off in the bloods hood. What's going on, fellas? I got a little present for y'all. Get your ass off my car, nigga, before I shoot your ass.
He basically gave the homie a death sentence with that move. So two days later, I'm at my new office for my trucking company. It was an old recycling plant, but it was gonna have to do for now. I was in there conducting interviews for the driver position. I only had the one truck right now, but I knew expansion was inevitable. Man, I ain't gonna lie. This legal stuff was definitely a different challenge. Everybody I interviewed gave out the same answers on why I should hire them. It was either because I'm a hard worker, I'd be a great asset to your company, or I've been doing this for years, and I didn't know who I wanted to hire you all. Thank you for taking the time for this interview. I'll be in touch. Man, y'all, this shit had me stressed out, besides everything going on in the streets. Now, while I'm outside smoking the cig, my cousin G-Stone pull up on me. And this fool hop out the car with how little cousin Lee Na. What's cracking, little cuz? Lee Na, always nice to see you. His ass was in disbelief, like, damn, cuz, y'all already know each other? And she like, hey, aunt, nice to see you. Duh, cuz, you know how long I've known how? But what y'all about to get into? I know you ain't come up here to apply for no job. So what's up? Oh, me and baby about to slide up to the studio to holler at Poppy. But I really came up here cuz, cause I had some things that I wanted to holler at you about. Lee Nate, could you give me and my cousin a few minutes? I promise I'll return them to you. Go wait by the car, baby. I'll be right there. I know you heard about that fool socks getting smoked the other day. You know that was my work, right? Ain't nobody gonna play with this family, cuz. And with him out the way, all we gotta do is take Greedy out. That's what I'm talking about, cuz. But we gonna have to put the brakes on taking Greedy out for now. I know you seen they putting together a task force to take us down. So more smoke gonna make it hot for us. So as much as I love to put a bullet in that fool, we gotta chill right now. Why the hell you got that girl in the ghetto, man? Get her out of here, it ain't safe. Man, everything good, cuz. We safe. You know I stay strapped up like seat belts. I already know. I ain't worried about you. Man, cuz, if anybody let off a pop shot at me or baby way, they going in the dirt. She in good hands like oil state. Just chill. Man, cuz, your ass so hard headed. I just want y'all safe. Do how know you dealing with her? Hell no, cuz. And he don't got to. Our names is on fire in these streets, cuz. If anything happened to that girl while she with you, we gonna fall out with how. Look, I know you can handle yourself, but I don't think Shorty built for this lifestyle. That's all I'm trying to say. No, I get it, cuz. I'm gonna get her out of here. You right. But what's going on with the work situation? Frank still ain't fucking with me, but I do got a couple of bricks though. Cool, cause I'ma need to re-up again soon. I'ma hit you when I'm ready. In the meantime, my nigga, you stay out the way too. I can't lose no more family. Cuz didn't even know. That's the same thing I was trying to tell him. After cuz pull off, I get two texts. One from House saying pull up to the docks. He got something he wanna show me. And the other one is from Jessica. She saying meet her at the marina in two hours. She got some people she want me to meet. I wonder what they got up their sleeves. We gonna see.
So when I pull up on how he's standing in front of a whip I ain't never seen before. I'm like, damn, what's that? What's up, how? What you got right here? He like, this is a 2024 Ferrari Puro Sangue, fresh off the boat. Don't nobody got this. And since you got the SF90 from me, why not grab the truck to match? Okay, so how much you want for it? Aunt, you're a friend, so give me 410,000 and it's yours. Ferrari truck, huh? Let me test this thing out real quick and maybe I will grab it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This thing was nasty. I had never seen nothing like it before. And when I hopped in and started it up, it just felt so right. Yeah, homie, I definitely gotta have this thing. I'ma wire you 440,000, take it to Frank's shop for me, and have Gus paint it, put new shoes on it, and change the color of the interior. I'll text you the details of how I want it. Good looking on this, how. After that, I was off to meet Jessica at the marina. When I pull up, I see her car, but I ain't see her. So I text her like, where you at? She like walk down to the boat docks and you'll see me. When I get down there, she waving like, Aunt, over here. I'm thinking, who the hell boat is this? What's up, Jessica? Who we supposed to be meeting right here? She like, nobody right here. This boat is our way to the meeting, and you don't want to keep these people waiting. Girl, I really don't mess with boats in the water, I ain't gonna lie to you. She like, wow, so the big bad ant is afraid of a little water. Don't worry, I won't let you drown. Oh, you got jokes. Alright, let's go. If I drown, I'm blaming you for it. Why we couldn't meet these people on land? Because these people I'm about to introduce you to love yachts. Damn, they got some big paper then, because yachts ain't cheap. distance, I see big mega yacht. I'm thinking like, damn, this girl's super connected. Why Frank ain't take advantage of this? This yacht was crazy, y'all. They had a helicopter and a DJ. I guess this was a party. So Jessica walk over to two dudes and start hollering at them. She like, this is the guy I've been telling you about. Aunt, come over here and introduce yourself. 
my name's Anthony Clinton, nice to meet you. He like, hey Anthony, I'm Devin West, please have a seat. I hear a lot of great things about you. All right. So are you the Devin West who owns half of this city? Yeah, that's me. It's more like 60% now, but Jessica tells me that you just started a trucking company. That's awesome. Maybe I can make a couple of calls and get you some really lucrative contracts. First off, it's an honor to meet you, sir. The way you built your empire is inspiring. And yeah, we just started. So I got one truck right now, but I'm looking to expand as soon as possible. And you doing that will greatly help. He like, thank you, son. The honor's all mine. I love meeting young, hungry entrepreneurs. It reminds me of how I was in the beginning. Have you met my friend Brucey Klebitz right here? He owns 20% of New York. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Klebitz. Call me Brucey, bro. And if you're ever out in my city, don't hesitate to hit me up. If you need a place to stay, or if you're trying to do some business. I appreciate that, Brucey. I was just out there like five months ago. But I'll definitely let you know the next time that I'm out there. Look forward to seeing you, bro. After that, Mr. Weston started breaking down his whole life story to me. And how he made his billions. I was soaking up so much game, y'all. This was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. After about two hours, it was time for us to go. I look forward to working with both of you in the future. Thanks for the hospitality. He like, likewise, son. You'll be hearing from me very soon. I'll get your info from Jessica. Man, y'all, I couldn't believe I was just on a yacht with two billionaires. Shorty definitely looked out with this. She really wanted to see me win. After getting back to land, I was wondering in my head what kind of other connection she had. I was gonna ask her. Jessica, you work with my cousin Frank for a while now, so I'm pretty sure you know what we do. So I was wondering if you had any underworld connections you could hook me up with. She like, of course I know, man. I'm not dumb. I was hired to help Frank clean up his money, because I'm good at that. But I do have some people from my past that may be able to help you. Damn, Jessica, you full of surprises. You think you could set up a meeting between me and these people? I should be able to set up a meeting between you, no problem. I really appreciate that. You've already done enough for me today, and I definitely appreciate that. But I need this bad like today. Listen, Ant, it's alright. When you win, I win. It's short notice, so I can't guarantee today. But let me see what I can do. Me and this person go way back. Hey, if not today, it's alright, Jess. We good. She like, all right, it's a go. We'll take your car to get there. So later on that night, we get to the destination. It's a trailer park in the desert. I'm thinking to myself, like, what the hell is we doing out here? It looks super shady. When we get out the whip, I see a bunch of biker gang dudes. Jessica like, I'm here to see T. Tell them that chipmunk's here. The biker like, alright, I'll be right back. I'm like, who the hell is chipmunk and what did I get myself into? So the dude come back and tell us to walk over by that trailer to the left. He'll meet us over there. So while we over there, I see one of them get up and he's walking towards us. She like, Aunt, 
this is my big brother Trevor. Trevor, this is my friend and business partner, Ant. And this dude look crazy, gang. And I'm crazy. So she get to telling him that I'm in the game and I need some product to move. Ant, huh? Only reason I haven't killed you yet is because my chipmunks vouching for you. Hey, listen, homie. I'm here to do business. It ain't no reason to be sending threats. You into making money, and I'm in the same game. Any product you got, I can move it. I was just messing with you, compadre. Testing. You pass. We're not really into weed and coke around here. We primarily move ice. You know anything about that? It's a gold mine. No, I, I really don't, but I heard about it. I'm a hustler, see? One thing about me, I can sell water to a whale. You talk a big game. I like that. Let's see if you can bag it up. 500000 gets you in the door. Okay, that's nothing. I can have that money ready for you tomorrow. Just let me know when and where. You really don't know me, homie. But I'm about to make us both more money than you ever seen. That's what I like to hear, compadre. Tomorrow morning, I'll give my sister the coordinates. And she can pass it to you. Don't be late. I don't do shady business, T. Once we agree on terms, it's set in stone. And I'm always on time. Just hold your end of the deal up, and we strike. Of course, homie. You got nothing to worry about. I'm just a little cautious, because this is my first time meeting you. That's all. All right. It's a bet. I'll see you tomorrow morning, T. I ain't know much about the meth game, y'all. But when I was done, I was gonna be known as Iceman Ant for more than one reason. So after that, we made our way back to the city. Listen, Jessica, you don't know how much that meant to me. I ain't know what I was finna do. I really feel like you one that want me to really win. She like, listen, man, it's nothing. I told you earlier, when you win, I win. I want you to understand that we are a team. I get that, Jess. That's 100. I just ain't had a lot of real people in my life. So this is new to me. She tell me this is only the beginning, man. Thanks again, Jessica, seriously. She like, I'll text you the address I got in the AM. Man, it was crazy having somebody that wasn't even family go the extra mile for me. I wasn't used to that guy. So I definitely had to keep Shorty on that team. After that, I made my way to the crib to prepare. Your boy had to be up extra early. So the next morning, I go to the address that Jessica sent me. When I pull up, I see three bikes. So I know it's only three of them in there. Now you might call it paranoid or just being cautious, but I had the Glock on me just in case shit got out of hand. Everybody I ain't know what to expect. These was hurt people. Whatever. What's up, you got the money? Yeah, T, I got it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. All right, well, let's see it. All right, you got your money, so what's up? I hope you didn't make any plans, compadre, because this might take a while. But you got everything you need here. I'll teach you how to cook it. Got all day, homie, let's do it. After about four to five hours, gang, I have figured it out.
your boy was about to become the king of ice in the city. Let's get to work, gang.